Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Night of the Rabbit with me, Demox. When we last left off, we learned a card game and we've got the scale feed. We've also been given the uh, quest line we need for this character. Let's uh, see, are there any drops? Ooh, shelf, I can grab it, apparently. Wow, this is high. Let's look at it, not grab. I can't see any. Uh, Fiend in the back, any droplets to snag. I'll probably miss them somewhere, so I'll have to keep an eye out for them. So if we get all the droplets, we can make remake this image. Oh, it's night time. Well, it did say now that we have the power to... Hmm. Hmm. We now have the power to switch between night and day. Now it's night time here. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is very nice. Night watchman. Good day. More like good night. <laughs> what are you doing here? I guard watchman. the city by night. That way everyone feels safe and can sleep in peace. Some have reported a fox roaming around the fields near the brook bridge. If I see it, I can poke it or sound the alarm. I also hmm. make sure the glow nuts in the city are still working. Are oh, those glowy nuts that are always surrounded by lightning bugs? Lightning bugs? Oh, fireflies. you mean fireflies. I yes. like fireflies. Our family makes the nuts by hand. The juice in the nuts glows like a female firefly. Ah, oh, I see. Yes. It's a bit odd, but that attracts the little guys. I'd really like to have a nut like that. Yeah. Me too. I don't have one at home myself. Unfortunately, they're very expensive. Except for the town council and the Hare family. Hardly anyone can afford them. But now and then, I look in on the Hare family when they're celebrating. When yeah. I see all the glow nuts and happy faces Andy. there, it warms my heart. No matter how cold the night is, Hmm, that could be a clue for later. Let's go. This way is all. They've all now got a little question mark, so these are no new locations. Let's go this way. Ooh, hello. Odd crystal statue. What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm, I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone flicked a glass. And glowing. Immensely. Queen. I want to play night today. I want to look around at night because this is fantastic. Cool. <laughs> Sign. <laughs> so everyone's here now. Do you think it would be better than building a shelf? From what Church Mouse Seniors told me, it would be even better than planning a bench. Okay, the stage. Looks like it's still life. Uh huh. There are so many little places now we can go check out. Oh, wow. Hey, 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 no you don't. Nobody comes in here without an invitation. What? Why not? Private party, capiche. You ever heard of one? No. What does it mean? It means that nobody who wasn't invited gets to join the celebration. Oh, I see. Why didn't you just say so? Oh. <laughs> what are you celebrating? What are you celebrating? Well, a birthday. What else? You don't know anything. Yeah, well, but it's going to be a dull party without a cake. What did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. None of your business. Family matter. Cake. 
Get a cake. Why are you standing out here all alone instead of joining in? Because I have to wait here. What are you waiting for? For you to finally start minding your own business. When is Anya gonna deliver that blasted cake? Ah. So, there's no cake at your party? Yeah, that's right, you little wise guy. I don't know what's keeping Anya, but without cake, this party will be a disaster. But that's family business, and only family business. Uh huh, right. I shall go get the cake. Where did you get those great party lights? Well, they're glow nuts, of course. Yep. The Night Watchman's family makes them by hand, but that is none of your business. Just like everything else. You're a grumpy else. person, aren't you? How can I get a glow nut like that? You can't just pick one of these up, you know. Only members of the city council or night watchmen can obtain them. They are sold to private persons only on extremely rare occasions. <laughs> you'd, you'd have to belong to one of the most important and influential families in Mousewood, like the Hare family. Our family tree enough. goes back to the beginning, a time that you can't even imagine when it would have been unthinkable that someone like you... Yeah, yeah, all right, I get it. Yeah, stop harping on about it. Well then, have a good time. I don't mind being excluded. Finally. You are a grumpy person. The garden with the big flower seems to belong to the mouse with the backpack. I love the way this flower reflects the moonlight. Cool. Let's go into the cafe. Locked. All right, I need to go around the other side. So Anya's supposed to be making a... Closed. Too bad. It looks comfy even at night. Not a problem, for I know the way... I know that there's a way around. Yeah, it's over this way. I know we're actually taking the long, long, long way around for this. Only a hollow tree I hear a whistle. The wind is it all the organ. Hmm. How did don't tell poet me? Yeah, that sounds changed. Unchanged. Still snowing. Oh, there's an island one now. It's you. Hey, what are you doing so far out of town? You'd better not venture too close to the river. Haven't you heard? There's been another crow attack. Of course I heard. I was right in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah, heard that one before. But we're town guards. We're different. They stationed me here as a crow scout because of the latest attack. And all that, just to make sure that show-offs like you can sleep in peace. Oh, I was here. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Marshmallow gold. Still flooded, still flooded. On the other side of the brook. Let's go see the dwarves. I think, but... Mm. Mm. You again. Have you come back to rub it in again that you helped me? Bah! What? Uh, what? No. Good for you, but anyway, thank, thank you. you. When we're harvesting our dwarf fruits here, you can use our guest bed in the house. Did you hear that, lads? This boy is our guest. Meh. <laughs> bah! <laughs> bah! Yeah, you they go. said you're welcome at any time. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> Didn't really sound like that. It sounded more like they were telling you to go away and not come back. Uh, I see. I can't catch any of the uh, little dandelion thingies.
This is a machine and a half, isn't it? The dwarves have restarted their blue juice production, but I wouldn't be able to sleep with that noise. Ah, that was another trick. I'll go sleep, sneak through the um, uh, thing into the back. On the door it says, Premium Dwarf Root Storage. It also says, Hands Off. And it is firmly locked. Okay. I'm going to try that book out. And then again, there is the... I'm gonna go to the fields. I wanna see what's going on in the fields. So there's a fox poking around there. Whoa. Hello, play. Oh. There are some very strange green flames dancing over the fields back there. Are they Will of the Wisps? How airy. <laughs> How strange! There are green lights flickering across the fields. Maybe it's someone with a lantern out for a walk. A new journal entry. Only a fox fire looks like this. How strange! There are green. Maybe. Can't go any further that way. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen so many stars. It takes your breath away. Makes you feel small. You are small. Uh, they remind me of the glow-in-the-dark stars over my bed. I feel like I haven't been home in an incredibly long time. I <laughs> hope Mum's okay. Probably. What are the kids doing with violin lessons? Hmm. There's something written on the stone next to it. Talk to one another, deal with one another, uh, live with one another. In remembrance of the regular meetings held on this brook to reconcile the differences between mice, squirrels, and other inhabitants of uh, the woods. Other inhabitants? I guess that would include me if I lived here. I think that means, that could potentially mean the, um, uh... A swift, cold, pebbly, babbling brook. I think it means, like, the fox the cr and the crows. going on here the bodies are my due for I I discovered him freed him from the prison of his existence and made him useful to us hmm? the belongings are my due for I place the four metals in his hands when his vengeance is at hand our work begins <laughs> the land is my due for I let him know the order in which he must drive them into the trunk. When their power comes to bear, our work shall begin. The souls are my due. From me, he knows how many blows he must strike. Once he has struck them, we will go to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bad guys. Someone is listening. Only a child. A human. One of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're about as human as you do. I don't think so. The soul of my Jew. The land is mine. Belong Come to us, Jerry. Oh, how did they get here so fast? Yeah. Jerry. Behind this portal lies another world, strange to us, but home to you. There you must learn your first spell. That right. is our tradition. We're gonna go there. How exciting! I think the party This time we will open the portal for you. Seek the ancient toad we saw at the foot of the portal tree. It is old. I have seen in your cards that the toad will keep a spell ready for you to learn. Nice. Probably. Arrow, stick to your script. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> good luck, young apprentice. <laughs> stick to your script. 
Well, we've learned to see a well, lot of things then. at night. And I'm going back home, it looks Whoa! like it. Whoa! I hit him. Hmm. Nope, back here again. I'm home again. Huh. I was sort of afraid I'd come out somewhere odd. Everything is suddenly so oh. small and normal. What? <laughs> well, yeah. almost normal. Yeah, because it's almost stone. Toad really always sat there. I've climbed around on these stones so many times. Oh man. Now before we continue, that's actually the end of the episode, folks. So before we continue, and we meet the Tota Toad next, we talk to the Toad next and start learning us. The, solving the puzzle to learn our first spell. Hopefully something like makes it a massive explosion spell or something. Probably not like a boiled kettle. Ooh, could be growth. Then we get us up to that upper branch of the tree to see if knock out sort out that snow. But again, that's for next time folks. So until then, I'll catch you all later. See ya!